once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to debug a port in Visual Studio 2020. Debugging is one of the most important skills every developer needs. And today, we'll cover the basics step by step. Perfect if you are just starting out. But before we do so, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get straight into it. So debugging is the process of finding and fixing errors in your code. Instead of just running your program and guessing what went wrong, Visual Studio gives us powerful tools in post, inspect, and step through the code line by line. So as you can see on the screen, I've already got Visual Studio open. So behind it, I, I mean, I've got this um, that window that you can create a new project here. But I've already created um, a console app. So if you don't know how to create your first project, I'll take you through it very quickly. So you click on new, um, create a new project. And here, obviously, you can select what project that you want to choose. For this video's sake, we're using console app, OK? So you select the console app, C-sharp console app, and then you click Next. And then here, um, obviously, you can configure your project details, click Next, and then you select the target framework that you want to use. So basically, you can select whatever .NET framework that you want to use for this project. It's not really important. Then you click on the Create. I wouldn't, I won't do so because I've already got it. So I'm just going to close it here. So as we can see here now, um, I've got a very simple C# -sharp console app. Okay, and this is the new Visual Studio 2026. Yeah, so um, we can start debugging our project by running it. Okay, so if we look on top here, where I've actually highlighted here, the console app here, we can we can select this here. So as you can see here, uh, we can we can select the debug properties, and then and then put some some things that we want if we want to, okay? So this is more like the debug setting. Uh, see, you can set some um, environment variables and whatnot. We're not going to look too much into this. And then here, if we put it on here, yeah, as you can see, it, say, it says start without debugging. So this is this will be control F5, yeah? So if you don't, if you want to start the project, I mean, the project without debugging, that's where you actually actually um press but if you want to debug it you can press on this green button here or you can also press f5 that that's a shortcut for debugging okay so to do it properly yeah we're going to we, we are we are we're going to add very simple code to, to this yeah i'm just going to use github copilot yeah so this is um an, an ai code helper that will help you write code yeah, my next video will actually be on this. So if you don't have it or don't know how to do it, uh, just wait for my next video. I'm just going to show you how to get yourself started with the GitHub Copilot. Okay, so here, um, let's type, um, create a simple calculator app. So in I'm going to use the hashtag, I mean, okay, so for some reason, I've actually, I've actually pressed enter by mistake, but as you can see here now, um, nonetheless, um, Copilot is actually updating the um, the program.cs. So I was actually going to type the program.cs, but it doesn't matter. So as you can see here now, it's, it's actually building it. So I'm just going to pause it while the whole thing finishes. Then we can just continue from there. So click on the keep. So this is what we get. Yeah, so we've got a very simple, we've got a very simple, um, uh, calculator using the console app, okay? So what we're going to do is, um, we're, going to, uh, we're going to select some things, yeah? So um, to go ahead and 
Sky, we're going to add a breakpoint. The breakpoint is we just asking the, the program to stop whenever it hits that that point. So that we select here, put it that's as you can see, we selected the red breakpoint. So and uh, we selected this so the operation we've got minus and plus. So whenever it hits the minus um operation like num num one minus num two, so this will actually stop so that we can inspect whatever is going on there. So let's go ahead and also um, put a break on the number two, num two. Yeah. So next is we go ahead and we debug it. You can press F5 or this um, green play. So this is what we get. So it's actually asking to ask um, to add uh, uh, to enter the first number. So I'm just going to put the number 25. Then enter. So it's asking us to choose one of these operations. So addition, subtraction, multiplication, and whatnot. So um, I actually pressed enter by mistake. So as you can see, I wasn't able to enter the, uh, the number two or the second number. So this is what we get. So if we look at the auto here, the auto is actually showing the, um, the variable, the current variable. That is being shown here which is num2 and the value of the current variable which is zero because um, i failed to enter a number okay so here it's actually stopped for us to actually um, check what is actually going on since there's no number here and no operation my <coughs> no operation was selected we actually got um, this so we can go ahead and Click continue to see what it, what it comes. So it is asking for the second um, number. So the first number I put is, so let me put like um, one zero here and then enter. So right now, as you can see, the second number one is, is 25. And then the number two is 10. And the operation is minus. So the result is zero because we've not hit the result yet. So let me go ahead and press this. So as you can see here now, this is the result. 25 minus 10 is equal to 15. So we are able to check whatever that is, whatever that is going on underneath whatever the perceived application would have been in this case, which is console app. Okay. So as you can see here now, it's so simple look through our code and find out any bugs in it. And c Sharps has got lots of things that will help you do that, okay? So, I don't want I don't want to complicate you too much, but for now, obviously, you can have a look. If you don't have the code, um, GitHub Copilot code assistant, yeah, watch out for the next video, because that's next. And once again, have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Peace.